Good Thursday morning, everybody. Come on in. Hope you're doing well on this thankful Thursday, on this thoughtful Thursday, on this, I tell you what, this is tumultuous Thursday as well because we got some weather things going on here this morning. Hope you're not one of those uh, that's in harm's way or in imminent uh, danger of the weather. So, you know, when this weather comes up like this, and especially when it's uh, tornadoes and hurricanes uh, in the atmosphere, it's spraying time, y'all. And as I always say, it's always spraying time, but more specifically today, y'all, uh, Hur Hurricane Dorian is raging out there. Thank God that Puerto Rico, for the time being, uh, missed the onslaught. But as I understand from the news reports, that it's heading up through Florida. So all of our YouTube family that's in Florida, most definitely we got uh, special prayers going up for you that you will not be in harm's way. We ask right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the word of God, it says that we can speak to the mountain and that mountain can be removed. So we speak to that hurricane as it rages. We speak to it this morning in the name of Jesus, that it will bypass all of those. And Lord, we know that we always pray for your will. So we, and we're praying in the will of God. So for the will of God, for those who are in harm's way, who know that they're in harm's way right now, because we never know how these storms are going to come out. So we just ask in Jesus' name that we all be kept uh, in the secret place of the Most High, that we'll be allowed to abide in the shadow of the Almighty, as it states in Psalms 91. So we pray Psalms 91 over each and every one of you all this morning, hoping and praying that you will heed the warnings that are going out. And there's some very uh, poignant messages going out to the people who are in imminent danger. Uh, you know, even though you might not be in danger right now, but it's especially talking to the people in Florida, you know, you don't have to jump up and run, but be aware and be prepared to. So now, you know, people in the stores gathering food and water and such and boarding them homes and things like that. So just be cautious and be aware of what's going on uh, as the weather is raging throughout the country and throughout the world for that matter so we pray for all of our sisters and brothers out there today and just ask that you just be mindful of all the warnings and prayerfully you'll stay out of harm's way again we're going to continue to pray for the children in school uh that they'll have the presence of mind to be in school to learn. I, I, I just got some heart-wrenching information yesterday that there have been a couple of fights at the school where I volunteer at, and we haven't started in yet. We want to go to after uh, Labor Day. So we just pray right now in the name of Jesus for anything that comes inside of these kids when they step across the threshold to these schools, that fighting and that fussing and all those things that's created that were created over the summer and encourage your children you know to enjoy their cell phones and their other social media uh, outlets to enjoy them and don't let them become an issue or a problem in their lives because most certainly we know a lot of that stuff brews right over the telephone and they bring it right to school and you know our children are just not mature enough to know how to handle those things quite yet outside of school but for the most part they know that they have to but they don't want to get suspended and, and we just pray against suspensions we we pray against bullying uh we we just pray against anybody that's there or anything that's there that is not of god that is not for the welfare and the well-being of our children so we just continue to send up prayers for our school children and remember we agree, touch and agree, that we're going to pray for these children throughout the year. That means every day we're going to pray without ceasing and send up a prayer and just see them walking in victory and uh, see them walking and uh, getting those scholarships and get it, being on the AB honor roll. And those children who, if it's a C that you can make it, if it's your good C, we pray for that too. And for any children that need help, that there will be people there to recognize that those children need help and not only uh, recognize it, but be willing to give that help if it requires a little bit of extra time on our part. We're praying, Lord, we see volunteers overtaking the schools. We see good teachers coming out of college, brand new teachers uh, overtaking the schools. Lord, we see 
uh, seasoned teachers are being refreshed and renewed and have a um, rededicating their uh, loyalty to these children. Lord, we just see all these things in Jesus' name for our children and for our educators and for our administrators. So we just pray uh, for education throughout, even into higher education as they go through the primary years into the elementary, the junior high, the high schools, the junior colleges, the four-year colleges, to the masters, all the way up to the PhD level and then into the world of work and into our world, into our communities, that we have to look forward to these young people being able to take over. So we pray all these things in Jesus' name for our children, and we all touch and agree and say, Amen. Thank you all for always praying with me and for giving me feedback to know that you all are out there and um, <clears throat> that each one of you come on behalf of whatever thing is going on within our YouTube family. We put it out there in the atmosphere, and we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. And I do love the Lord, and I trust and know that you do too. So, y'all know always, or almost always, when I come to you, I come to you with some food. Uh, I've got a video out there now, um, uh, comfort food. So you're going to get two videos right on top of each other pretty much because this weather one we need to get this one out there as well so um this food this morning of course is going to be in a way it's going to be another comfort food meal you know certain foods that you prepare it just gives you that comfort feeling like for instance when i did the um turkey wings and rice you know you know it's always been said that turkey is one of those foods that make you feel warm and fuzzy when you finish eating it you be ready to take you a good old nap. So that's where everybody felt Sunday. I mean, we ate a lot of turkey wings, but they were good and they comforted us and made us just feel just warm and fuzzy inside. So this morning, along with the prayer, I'm just going to cook something simple. I'm going to make Kareem and I uh, some nice omelets. We're going to have, uh, I'm going to be using sausage eggs. And I got these, I love, 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 love these little mini peppers. They have a little sweet taste and they have that bell pepper or green pepper taste to them. And I'm going to slice some tomatoes in it. And of course, I've got some, uh, this is some pepper jack and some cheddar cheese that I'm going to be putting in it. So first of all, I promise y'all, I'm just cooking two biscuits. Two, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven right now on 375. These are already made, uh, I think they are grands, yeah. And those are those are really good biscuits. And I'm going to go ahead and start this sausage to fry. And when I get done frying it, I'm just going to chop it up. And we're going to make it into an omelet for Kareem and myself. Um, let's see here. Okay, I got four sausage. I will this will make this is usually i probably put one sausage into my omelet because again i'm not a big meat eater but i like the taste Ooh, my camera flipped on me i like the taste of that uh, nice good old swaggerty or uh, roots farm uh, pan sausage they are just really really good to me have always loved them. paper and as you see i got my tea kettle on back here i'm gonna have me a hot cup of coffee I've already had my tea. I had my tea cold this morning because I just felt like I needed something refreshing. Uh, usually in the morning times, I try to get me some kind of drink with my uh, turmeric and um, cinnamon and ginger. And I just love the way it makes me feel. It's just wonderful. So I've already had my turmeric and tea and ginger mix. Had that full this morning. So got that going already. And of course, I drink lots of water too. So got my water going, y'all. So meantime, what I'm going to be doing for this meal this morning, which is a very simple meal, as you can see. Got my eggs already whipped up over here. <clears throat> and I'm going to set them off to the side. And all I'm going to do to these peppers is just take and get that middle part out. You know, you have to, for anybody that has never cooked these before, take that middle part out is what I do to them. And I'm going to saute these uh, so that I can put them into the omelet. Okay, I'll turn that heat down just a little bit. So what are y'all doing this morning? For those, you know, some people work at night, so uh, a lot of times, <clears throat> excuse me, 
a lot of times I know some of you all might come home and sit down and relax and unwind and get some breakfast going and then others maybe even come in and go ahead and jump back in that bed. Well, y'all know the phone was going to ring, so hold on. I'm sure it's one of my babies. Okay, it was not one of my babies. It was one of those scam phone calls. Um, you know, uh, that thing is just on the uprise. Even though they busted up that big uh, frog uh, embezzling and whatever they were doing the other day, they busted up a big ring. People are still doing that foolishness. Uh, I was looking at something on the news earlier this morning where this police officer was actually, I guess she must have got one of these calls somehow, either in her home or on her cell phone. But anyway, she just went ahead and, and uh, talked to him, I guess, four or five minutes on there. And they were saying that uh, she was going to be arrested if she did not, um, I guess, give up. You know, they wanted her, in other words, to verify her social security number and her personal business over the phone. And when one of the scammers was not able to do it, of course, they pretend like they had a supervisor. And they put the supervisor on the phone. So, you know, that's supposed to just make it better when the supervisor comes on. So we think. So anyway, she went through this whole scam. And, you know, her word, it was a PSA. And she played it out just to show you how ridiculous, how ridiculous it sounds for someone talking to you on the other end of the phone trying to get you to say your information over the phone. Now, here's the other thing. Sometimes... A couple of us have gotten pulled into that. So the whole message there is when you get these phone calls, don't even try to banter with them. Now, she was bantering back and forth. I wouldn't even try to banter with them. You know, just go ahead on and don't say nothing. Because what I do immediately, most of the time, like that one right there said something that was odd and I knew. I didn't even answer the phone. I clicked. I, I uh, clicked the green button and I immediately clicked the red button, which means I pick up hang up right away and that just cuts them off and they keep it moving and I get so many of those calls all the time I'm not going to even engage in a conversation with them because most of the time I don't have time anyway so anyway just suffice to say those calls are still on the move they're on the rise and just beware uh, don't fall you know there's all kinds of scams the one where you want all these thousands of dollars but you need to send five hundred dollars for administrative fees and you know all just all kind of craziness so please 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 don't get caught up in that foolishness don't become a victim of you know and i say that scripture is where it talks about for the love of money for the love of money just don't get caught up in that kind of scam so anyway um my peppers are just i'm just about done with them what i'm going to do when i get the sausage out i'm just going to throw these peppers right on over in there and I'm going to saute them up real good. And I'll throw the tomatoes in there eventually. And we'll have our filling, part of our filling for our omelet. This is going to be a nice, tasty, tasty. Y'all know me and flavor. Like all kinds of uh, flavor going on in my omelet. So, again, hope you all are having a God-blessed Thursday morning. Uh, the weather here in North Carolina is beautiful. We have some of the prettiest weather of anywhere that I know of. And I've been a few places throughout the United States and a few places uh, out of the United States. So this is by far the best weather. Somebody asked me the other day, say, you, you traveled a lot, how far north is, have you been? I said, North Carolina, this is far north as I've been to live. Now I've traveled all over everywhere. But as far as living in the places that I went, I like it here because of the weather of the weather. I know we get some good hot days, but these sausages are just about ready to come out in another minute or so. But anywho, we got beautiful weather here today. Uh, I don't even see any clouds, so I guess that storm that's out there as it gets closer into Florida and come up that eastern seaboard and all up that way, uh, we usually get it because it'll come on up 20 and it'll hit 95 and praise God most of the time it just passes right on by us and it just keeps right on going which is what i'm praying it will do this time but also praying that those of you who do get hit you won't be in harm's way 
and uh, you'll be safe. Okay, so those four sausages are out of the pan. And I'm just going to go right ahead and get my peppers going. A little bit of sausage here, that's all it is. What is a teaspoonful? So these sausages, I like these to get because they're not real, 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 real fat. There goes, oh, there goes my spatula. I got to get me another spatula. But anyway, I missed this one completely. Okay. Alrighty. Let me get another spatula. Okay, I thought I had another plastic one, but I don't. Anyway, I think this this might be enough oil in that pan. I think I, I'm gonna make this be enough oil in the pan for these uh, peppers. Okay. So let's see here. I'm gonna get them here. I'm gonna get them off the stove. They definitely don't need to be on the stove. Okay. So, we're going to let these peppers cook. It's going to take a good 5 or 10 minutes, and I'll be back, and we'll start putting these nice omelets together, and the biscuits should be out of the oven. Okay, the uh, peppers and tomatoes are just about ready to um, take out of the skillet there. Just one tip, when you're cooking uh, any raw vegetables, for that matter, you know, especially now, these peppers, we're just going to keep it to these peppers. These peppers... When they are raw and when they're cooked, they have a totally different flavor to them. So do tomatoes in a way. But let's talk about these peppers for a minute. I'm just, I'm not even flipping these tomatoes on the other side. I'm not going to put a lot of them in there because we don't want tomatoes to take over the flavor of the almond. These peppers, I am cooking them. just want to put a little bit of a, a brown on them. Mm. Oh, wow. They almost take on a little bit of a tart taste when you are uh, cooking them. So just remember, cook them to a point not to get them like soft, soft, soggy, soft, but enough to pull out that little, it's almost like a little sweet, tangy flavor. And they're just about there now tasting some of that crusty part off the bottom of the pan. That's some good stuff down at the bottom of that pan. I'm going to go ahead and get these out now. I think they're ready. It's pulled out the flavor. So sometimes I like I could just eat these just like by themselves. But it's just gonna take this omelet to another level. So this is gonna be one of our uh, sausage and pepper, lots of pepper and cheese omelet. And of course, get that cheese blended in there in a few minutes uh, when we get the eggs going. But we're gonna go ahead and get these out and get them ready so they'll be ready to sit in the pan and cook our omelet. Okay, we're back and ready to get our omelet going. Uh, the other thing with the peppers, I cooked them on medium low heat and I cooked them about 12 minutes, okay? You can cook as many or as little as you like, but still and all, they still have to cook about that much time to pull that sweet and tart flavor. That's a wonderful flavor. Okay, on to the omelet. I got my same skillet using one pan this morning. This is a good, uh, it's that nice coating in there, but I always like to put some more oil because guess what? I love the taste of olive oil, y'all. I love, love, love it on eggs. I learned this in Spain. Olive oils and eggs and potatoes, um, wonderful, love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead first and make this, this first omelet it's going to be Kareem. It's going to be a big omelet, of course. Um, and I can tell you exactly how much egg mixture. I've got, I think, five eggs. So what I'm trying to do is give him three eggs in his omelet. So a three-egg omelet is a good size omelet, okay? And I think three eggs is right at a cup full. So we're going to go ahead and get it in the pan, okay? I've got my um, plastic spatula cleaned up and back over here. You know, uh, even though <clears throat> this this cookware, now I bought this emerald cookware and the, the uh, interesting thing to me was there's a set of stainless steel 
cooking utensils that come with it. So, I guess it resists. But anyway, I, I'll be careful. But anyway, I'm going to use this plastic one because it's much bigger. It's a longer one. So, we're going to let the eggs, like we said before, when I do my omelet, I always just let the let that excess run out of there like so. So, it's done in the middle because we don't want them super hard. We definitely don't want them raw when we bite into them. I mean, some people, now I tell you, my husband loved those real, real, real. He used to tell the folk extra, extra, extra. He said extra about five times. So his eggs just kind of sort of runny, y'all. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get the cheese because I need that cheese melting. So I'm going to go ahead and get me some cheese going on in here. That's that uh, pepper jack. Get him some, a little bit of this uh, cheddar in there. Okay. And then we're going to get the... Uh, turn the heat all the way down in fact I'm gonna take it off just I'm gonna lift it up a little bit <clears throat> this omelet is loaded y'all l-o-a-d-e-d -E -D, loaded bro. okay so he's gonna have just about three sausage in there okay so the filling except for my peppers and onions are all in there Go ahead and get me some peppers and onions going on. I don't know what is going Something is not tight. And I can't take the camera off the stand. My stand, this is a brand new stand I bought, y'all. As a matter of fact, from um, Staples the other day. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let's get our onions and peppers going on into this omelet. This is going to be a fat, nice omelet. Okay. Okay. There we go. Those biscuits are probably ready to come out of the oven. Okay, now let's get it back over here. Now I'm going to try to flip it over here. Well, I'm going to flip it over like so. And when you flip it over to make that familiar omelet shape, just sort of press on it a little bit so those... So pretty much, this omelet is going to sit in this pan for a minute or two just like so. And I'm, I'm letting it cook off the heat because I hate to I, I don't want it all brown on the outside we don't need it brown we need the cheese melting and basically that's what it's doing the egg is finishing up cooking the cheese is melting and while that's happening I'm gonna go and look at the biscuits okay okay y'all I went ahead and flip that omelet I, I forgot about I suppose to have let y'all see me do it no I went ahead and flipped the omelet over so it could cook some on the other side. And I put it back on my burner. My burner is on medium. It's on, not medium, it's on low heat. Because I, I don't want the outside of that omelet to brown. Okay. The biscuits are still cooking. They've got about another five minutes. But in a few minutes, I'm going to get this one out. And I'm going to move on to making the next omelet. So basically, the omelet is done. I'm going to go ahead. This is Kareem's. Like I said, this is a big omelet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do mine here shortly and we'll come back when I get it all on the plate Yeah, somebody asked me about plating the other day. I do sometimes plate. It just depends on what I'm cooking If I'm cooking something like this surely I plate because I only got one or two items to deal with But when I cook a huge meal when you actually see the plating is you have to go over like I've been encouraging y'all to do now Go over to the flavor train and you will see everything I cooked on a nice plate and all like that. And in fact, you'll even be able to enjoy Tanya's mukbang. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the pan because it's ready. And all I got to do is just slide it onto the plate like so. Okay? That's a done deal, y'all. And then when the biscuits get done, I'm going to set them right here. So we're going to move that um, right on over there out of the way. And I'm going to get my next omelet going, which is going to be what I'm going to eat. And y'all, I'm only going to eat an omelet and some salsa. Lord knows I want a biscuit. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass this morning now. I'm going to pass on the biscuit. So it's going to do me a nice omelet. Um, let's see, y'all. I think I poured most of the eggs into Kareem's. I don't seem like I got enough eggs, so I'm just gonna beat me another egg up in there. And you know, because I'm only having one piece of sausage in mine, and 
And that's all I'm having too, y'all, is just the armor and some, um, excuse me, excuse my reach. Okay. Okay. Get my eggs in there. I probably got two and a half eggs, and I don't think I got quite three, y'all. Okay. That skills is not so hot. So, let's see what we got going on here. There's my phone again. Okay, y'all, I'm going to do a little bit something different with these biscuits this morning. My arm is about done, too. I just took these biscuits, and I'm cutting them open. Okay. And I'm going to put some butter inside and some honey. So, we're going to have, and you see, since I cut them, y'all know what, I was, what, what I'm angling for, don't you? So I can have some, uh, just a half a biscuit, y'all. Can I have just a half? Okay. Whew. I have not eaten a biscuit in so long until I feel like I just deserve one. Yeah, I know if you're going to eat a biscuit, yeah, it's a lot of butter, yeah, but that's okay. I'll be all right, y'all. I'm okay. Mm. So just butter it up real good, and then I'm going to put it back in the oven under the broiler going to be honey butter biscuits, okay? What can I say? Okay. There we go. A little honey butter biscuit. Okay. It's just that simple. All I did was cut these biscuits open. Just cut, cut your biscuits open. Put some butter in and drizzle it with some honey, and you're good to go. I'm going to put it back on the broiler for about two minutes. Low broil, y'all. Low broil. Okay. All right. My almond will be ready to come out here just shortly. Kind of tore them out a little bit, but not to worry. Because this is a, a thick omelet, and this is what I did, the same thing with the other one. I'm going to go ahead and put it, put it out in this pan. Right, so, same way I did that tortilla. And um, get it to uh, mm, yum yum. And it don't matter if it tear a little bit, honey. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's still edible. Some of my goodies flew out, but that's good. But I just want to get all my cheeses melted up real good, so... I'm going to go ahead and slide it back out of the skillet here shortly. Those biscuits ought to be coming out in a minute, so we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, breakfast is served. Uh, suffice it to say that this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful breakfast. I always love omelets. I don't care what kind I make. I just love, love, love omelets. But just back to the business at hand and the weather. Of course, you know, uh, they're still putting out the warnings that by tomorrow or the next day that, you know, you'll know more about what's happening. But now it's in preparation time. So we're going to prepare not only physically and mentally, but we're going to prepare with prayer by just continue to uh, see everybody that's in harm's way. We see you coming through this storm one more time, all the people down. And, of course, you know, Florida is... is uh, right there with Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, New Orleans, all down in there. And I'm, I'm eventually say even some parts of Texas will feel the effects. And as that storm comes through, we may all feel it. But for right now, uh, our sisters and brothers down in that particular area are in uh, pretty much, you know, there's, there's an imminence about the danger that they're in right now. So we just continue to send up prayers on behalf of our sisters and brothers uh, in the uh, path of Hurricane Dorian, and we speak to that mountain. We speak to Dorian as if it's a mountain. Be thou removed in Jesus' name. So we lift you up on today, uh, y'all. We need to keep that prayer band going. Now, just stay, keep our hands locked, and continue to pray for our sisters and brothers throughout this country. Uh, thank you all so much for praying with me one more time. Thank y'all for listening to me. 
And thank y'all for tuning in. And y'all, we are at the 21,000 mark on subscribers. I am just ever so excited. It seems like the Lord is sending me twenty a uh, 1,000 people a week. Nobody but the Lord did that. And thank y'all for being obedient to his commands. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. And listen, remember, keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. I love y'all. And until I cook again, I'm going to say toodaloo. I'm going to sit down, relax, and enjoy it. That's my plate right there with the berries on it. And y'all see I only got half of a biscuit. Now, I promise I'm not going to double back. That's all I'm going to have is just a half of a honey butter biscuit. Try those honey butter biscuits. They're good. They just popped into my mind as I was cooking. So, anyway, love you guys. See you on the flavor train on Sunday. Probably is the next time I'll see y'all. But if not, who knows? Love y'all. Toodaloo.